Welcome back to Advanced Blockchain Development Tools. We are making headway, adding some DAP network services so we can have scalable, decentralized, affordable DAPs. And we've added VRAM so far, which is a storage solution. That helps us out a lot. But DAPs also need to not just store their own stuff, but get information from the outside world. Whether they need to store it or just act on it and get rid of it, DAPs need to be able to see things around the internet. Otherwise, we're just going to be stuck with things like dice games for the rest of our lives. But if we could see the entire internet, including all other blockchains, imagine the possibilities. Liquid Oracles lets you feed your dApp any data available from around the internet. And unlike some other Oracle solutions, which I won't mention by name here, but they've become very popular recently, Anyone can offer oracles, there's no registration process, and the dApps can select their own oracle sources. They can select their own data sources. It says any data available over the internet. That's true. As the dApp, you decide on your data source. Furthermore, verification of data and the actual SLAs with the oracle providers, the dApp service providers, are on chain. And the data verification is also customizable. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let me scroll down here. It's actually just the, the website. Liquid Oracles are decentralized and trustless. They don't need a separate blockchain. And they're trustless in the sense that you can compare the Oracle results you get from multiple DSPs, or you can even set up a watchdog DSP yourself. Maybe we'll figure out how to do that in a very easy way in a future lesson. Set up your own watchdog DSP to keep track of your Oracles. But Remember that you can select any data source or multiple sources. Sometimes you want to rely on multiple oracles, multiple endpoints, multiple APIs or websites for your data. In the perennially unhelpful example of weather, you want weather data from multiple sources. If you're into crypto, you've seen, I'm sure, those times where your favorite crypto tracker application shows some precipitous price drop and then rise, or it happens on an exchange, right? There's a price move that isn't actually reflecting reality. It's an error. You want to grab from multiple sources so that you can do things like drop outliers or keep an eye on reliability or compare to make sure that no one is trying to break your dApp by colluding against you. Maybe sports scores is another example or current pricing information. So we've got weather, pricing, and sports scores commonly mentioned as use cases for this, where you wanna grab from multiple sources, and if one is bad, you can drop it, and you can even check to see if they're all bad by running your own DSP as well. So you can select multiple data sources, so you can have your own verification strategy depending on what the data is, and this enables customized levels of trust. Maybe you just wanna choose two DSPs, Maybe you're a Tetris game or something. Am I allowed to say Tetris? Is that copyright? And you only need one source for some information that you're pulling in. Or maybe you're a bank and you want a hundred really solid DAP service providers. You want to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that no one is colluding against you. No one's trying to game your application and profit from it somehow in some way that's illegitimate. And in, in fact, that's the next point on the website is that you can balance price and trustlessness. Why wouldn't everyone have 100 sources and 100 providers and 100 oracles? Because that costs more money, right? If you don't need bank grade security because you're just a Super Mario, am I allowed to say Super Mario? Then you don't need bank grade security, right? And of course, it's got the free market economic model. There are two ways to obtain Oracle services. You can either stake DAP to a DSP and get a quota of Oracle services and not have to worry about paying per use, or you can use a leasing market. There are two community leasing markets out so far. We'll talk about them in future videos, like way future videos later in the course. And you can pay as you go in that case. So two convenient pricing models, it's really a great solution when you need data from anywhere on the internet for your application. So we are going to learn in the next video how to implement Liquid Oracles in our smart contract.